everyone, welcome to Hosties Market Commentary. Uh, Hosties Market Commentary is a podcast that is dedicated to giving the average to professional short-term rental investors some helpful insight into the commentary that Hostie and uh, us as property managers have when it comes to looking at a property in terms of it being a a uh, home that would make a good short-term rental versus a home that wouldn't make good short-term rental. So we're just going to go over some homes that catch our eye uh, weekly, and we're going to talk about everything from the location of these homes to the amenities and a little bit of historical performance of similar properties around the the home we will be discussing. And really why these properties caught our eye and what makes them a true hosty home that would be a great home to have as a short-term rental. So I'm gonna be covering some of the Phoenix, Fountain Hills, Scottsdale, the greater Phoenix area, and Craig Callian from Colorado Springs will be covering Colorado Springs and the greater Colorado Springs area. My name is Killing Gordon and we're with Hosty. So let's get started real quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and get my screen shared. Well, and while you're doing that, I, I guess an interesting um, touch point, we're in drastically different markets for seasonality and why people are going to the places. So I'm I'm interested to see, you know, what's important to you, why you're pick, picking these listings and how they differ from, you know, ones that I have my eyes on here in the, the Colorado area. Absolutely. Good point. So I picked a property, a five bedroom, three bath, 2,800 square foot property in Fountain Hills, Arizona, which is situated about 15 minutes outside of Scottsdale, Arizona, sort of the northeast east side of the greater Phoenix Valley. Uh, this is kind of a hidden gem tucked into what's starting to become the mountain areas that sit along northeast of Phoenix. A lot of golf courses, a lot of uh, access to parks, hiking, fishing, hunting, camping. Uh, and this particular home uh, backs up and has a little bit of a view to the McDowell uh, Forest and Regional Park. So it's in the $820,000 range. This is what I typically would consider a, a good sweet spot for a little bit of a larger to medium sized investment in terms of short term rental. This home is on the verge of you know, a premium just under a true luxury property, uh, but has a great number of bedrooms, has some great safety features already built onto the pool, uh, and pool and backyard space is a huge selling feature for guests coming out to the Arizona area to enjoy the weather, escape the cold, or for some of the people a little bit crazier who like the heat. So five bedroom, three baths for around $820,000. Right off the bat, this home has a triple deck with a patio, depending on how you want to refer to it. This would make for a great grilling area and for several layers of extra guest amenities. And a lot of these uh, walk straight out of bedrooms uh, and living spaces in the home to some beautiful views. Scrolling through it, just wide open kitchen in terms of short-term rentals, especially larger occupancy short-term rentals, uh, open kitchen, open concept kitchen is always wonderful because you bring in different generations of family members, different groups of guests. This pool in particular is set off away from the home and is completely fenced in and enclosed, which checks most of the safety requirements to have a uh, you know, guest ready, safe short term rental. So a fully enclosed, enclosed pool. And this I believe happens to be a diving pool always recommend out in this area that pools are heated. Um, <clears throat> going through it very quickly. This home has some outdated features that over time, someone who purchased this property may want to look at at updating. That could be something discussed as a little bit more over time, longer play in terms of uh, purchasing, this, purchasing this home using it as a short-term rental and then updating it as part of the exit for the property. But a lot of large open spaces, large bedrooms that are gonna accommodate a queen or greater size bed for guest comfort and open spaces in the living room and basement that allow for things like guest amenities, pool tables, air hockey tables, ping pong tables, 
uh, areas that can create a great guest draw to create kind of a resort feel to a property of this size uh, in this type of location where it's set a little bit away from what would be considered downtown areas, slightly getting into a little bit more rural areas of Northeast Phoenix. Um, so people are going to book here to come uh, golfing to enjoy the amenities of the home, that backyard grilling and that pool area. This one so, so happens to come with a little bit of office space, but on a large home like this, it could be debatable on whether or not you wanted to keep it a bedroom or a bath. Just going over the patio and the pool again, but ultimately uh, a nice ratio of five bedrooms, three baths for a purchase price of $820,000. Homes similar to this in the area historically perform around 110,000 to 125,000 in gross revenue. Of course, seasonality is a little different and that's always something that we would talk about with potential homeowners who do want a short-term rental and turn that home over to management. So, um, Found Hills, Arizona. I think that's a, a pretty solid pick. And I'm obviously <clears throat> pretty ignorant to the uh, permitting process in Arizona, if there is one. Is there any red tape with that? I mean, obviously you picked this one for a reason, but um, is there areas where it, it would be a little bit difficult Great question. Always look out for, like you said, license, regulations, and HOAs. This property, one of the reasons it caught our caught my eye, aside from the occupancy capabilities, the pools, just kind of the general layout of the property, is that this particular area for the time being, of course, things are changing around all parts of the United States, uh, has very informal business license and tax licensing. Um, it's essentially just like registering a business for um, tax reasons. So that's something we can help out with and talk about a little bit deeper. But uh, for the sake of this home, one could look at it as simply getting a business license from uh, the city or the state. Okay. Yeah. So it seems like um, some of the cities here where it's a, a similar system. Well, I hope somebody buys that house. I'd like to go visit it. So yeah, it's beautiful cool. little resort style home. Awesome. Well, and, um, I don't know if I have what, any other questions on that listing. Um, so I could take it over to Colorado. All right. So for Colorado, so Colorado Springs is the bulk of our properties, but we do go out to Lake George. We're up as far as Larkspur, um, Black Forest, Peyton, and then uh, we're looking at getting uh, down in Pueblo. So um, I'm focusing on areas of growth and opportunity. And what caught my eye was this home in Glen Eagle. So it should be switching to my screen. <clears throat> And the reason this caught my eye, uh, Colorado Springs just announced here, I think last week, uh, the approval for the, um, I think it's Sunset Amphith Amphitheater uh, in the InterQuest area. So this is very close to that, whereas I think it would get some, some prime uh, traffic for that area. And right now, without that even factoring into it, the overall numbers that I looked at and ran on the property looked good for the analysis it was in the upper 70 range for gross income and this this home would come pretty turnkey from what i can see as as your listing it has a nice open kitchen um pretty consistent across the board people are looking for that fully stocked kitchen where they can entertain you mentioned the families coming so you're seeing three four generations of family coming for reunions or events or in town for weddings. So kitchen here is just beautiful, all recently done. I think on the listing it said most of the renovations were done um, as soon as last week. So very fresh, this home was built in 85. Love that there's not a lot of carpet. That's a, a huge thing for short-term rentals, easy to clean. It's not gonna hold smells. Um, you gotta have a nice big dining area. This is a five bedroom, five bedroom, four and a half bath. I don't know if I mentioned that, but definitely could uh, accommodate a large, large table here. So that's crucial. Uh, you have a couple different areas and opportunities for entertainment. So, um, you know, your main living area, and then uh, there's definitely room for a pool table on that downstairs level. 
So this is, I, I believe, a four level home, a split level. Bedrooms, I would say maybe um, the furniture just might be look, making it look a little dated, but yeah. I, I wouldn't even you know have any knee jerks there. Looks no, like some I'd of the say are still... same with this property as the previous one we we're looking at. Sometimes these pictures don't always do the property justice and a lot of times the recommendation to just paint a room a gray or a white typically helps improve yep. a bedroom significantly, which isn't that expensive. Well, what I liked about this, they it, it has on the listing that there's a mother-in-law suite <clears throat> in the lower level. My recommendation would be just to open that up and have it one full dwelling, but they have kind of a gym set up there. So if you have an opportunity to do some, you know, free weights or, um, you know, low liability gym equipment that doesn't have a lot of moving parts where people can't get injured, you have a good opportunity to do that there. And then the other reason <clears throat> I picked this, it's, as I mentioned, a five bedroom. So in Colorado Springs, greater area, only about 7% of all listings are five bedrooms. So really just getting an edge up in the competition for um, for what's listed. And the yard here, I believe this, the lot was about 15,000 square feet. So in this home, um, no pool. I don't necessarily recommend a pool for Colorado Springs, but uh, a hot tub would definitely uh, elevate this listing to the next level. It's got the two car garage. We have a home that, um, you know, and same with this one, I'd have to actually walk it to give my full endorsement on this, but they turn the garage into a game room kind of hangout pad. You open the doors in the summer, you get a nice breeze going through there. And I think that was the highest and best use for that property. And I would, you know, suspect similar here because it looks like there is adequate parking. So, yeah, I mean, that's why I picked this list. And um, this is the hot sheet that I have that on that we can, you know, send that out. Uh, we do send this to our subscribers that do want this. So this just has the stats and a couple other ones that made the list, but um, only wanted the spotlight one for the, the sake of time in this uh, presentation. So, so yeah, yeah I mean, wonderful. I think hopefully somebody buys both of those. Kind of an up and coming area that Glen Eagle area, that amphitheater coming in room for, for game space, guest amenities, the garage, the living room and the ability the to great. put a hot tub. Great thing with that listing. I, it, there is an HOA. It's $57 annually. So I looked into the HOA. There's nothing um, that looked restrictive in terms of renting in any way, shape, or form, but it does look like they cover snow removal. So for $57 annually, you'd get snow removal covered. Wow. I mean, you pay more than that in one time. So, Well, wonderful. I figure we'll leave it at that for today. Anything else? Any final thoughts? No, um, the only thing I would add is we'd love to, you know, make this an engaging podcast. So if you guys do have specific questions about, you know, homes or, um, you know, what to look for in your investment properties, we'd love to, you know, give some insight onto that. And, um, you know, the, the hot sheet I showed, if you do want to get that regularly, please drop your email in the comment thread. And uh, we'll have a you know brief description of this podcast every time. And uh, I'll even put my Calendly link in there if you did want to schedule a one-to-one -one consultation on uh, you know investment properties, the market as a whole, or yeah, you know, just talk about short-term rentals. Uh, you know, schedule a time. We we want to hear from you guys. Yeah, thank you. Have a wonderful day.